Hey guys, welcome to the Fish and Fin out at Wob again here doing some fishing. I got my first eye here. Oh, he's not splaying. But uh, we're in a spot I've never tried before. I'm only in like five feet. I wanted to go for some boob. Lots of rock. Uh, we've seen a few fish. Got tip up short, shallow. Very, very rocky area. But uh, here's the first fish. Oh. Ah. And there he goes down on my screen. But uh, yeah, let's get back there, guys. Uh, like I said, very shallow right now, going for boobs and walleyes, and uh, we're producing. Hey guys, welcome to the Fish and Fin. Lance here, um, sitting, well, I'll tell you a little story about this morning. We went out to a spot and everywhere. Um, we were fishing in like five feet. I was going to go for boobs and walleyes, whatever, and uh, then it was just, whatever, I caught one walleye. We've seen two other ones, but it was just too shallow. And then I grabbed the wrong fuel can and it was empty so I couldn't uh I couldn't drill any more holes so I went to the store and I grabbed I'm not even gonna say it I got 50 to 1 I was in a hurry it doesn't matter what it was but it definitely wasn't what I wanted so we drove to town site I picked up some fuel uh threw on some jig wraps straight off town site 12 feet whatever 12.6 feet threw on some jig wraps and we some, we were smashing walleyes. Uh, we stopped at Home Hardware. Thankfully, they had some 50 to 1 for my auger. If you have electric auger, I can see why you have them now. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that fuel. Everything else is always charging anyway. All the electronics might as well charge up the auger while you're at it. Something to think about for me, but I, I honestly like my gas auger. Um, but uh, yeah, so jigging wraps. We're getting at it. Uh, so that's it for now, guys. Gonna get back fishing. Just ate some ham, a ham sandwich. Ate some lunch. It's getting a little later. Um, got the old root beer. Helps with the helps me with anyway with the throat from the heat. A propane. Um. So yeah, I was thinking if anyone's watching this and you guys want us to uh, try new lakes that you haven't tried, we don't uh, like. I've been thinking about saying that for a while now. Like, if you have any suggestions, just comment and give us a lake in central Alberta, whatever, southern Alberta, northern Alberta, and we'll do our best to get up there. Uh, if you're curious, even if you've never been there and you just want to know, and if we, we have never been there, we're always up for trying new places, too. So, uh, yeah, but with that said, we'll get back to fishing, and see you soon, hopefully. Woohoo! Hey, guys! Just got our second wally here. We switched spots, but... Uh, I was trying a bunch of stuff. We're at uh, 12.6 feet now. And uh, again, the jigging wrap uh, did it. Gotta love this little bugger, but uh, the way he ate this. Ooh, that's in there. There we go. All right, there we go, guys. Second wally of the day. Ooh, he is. Oh, there we go. Nice little splay. Ah. Okay, here we go. We'll give him a nice little release here. <laughs> awesome guys, on to the next one. Hey guys, got a second wally on. I switched up to uh ooh, gonna lose the cell phone if I do that. I switched up to uh Ooh, that's a nice one. I switched up to another a bigger wrap, jigging wrap, and I got a bigger walleye. Look at that. Ooh, he inhaled that. Check this wally out though. This is a nice one. I don't got a good grip on him. I don't want to get poked. Oh. Popped right out. All he did was close. He had his mouth on. He wasn't letting it go. But look at that guy out, guys. That was a nice one. <laughs> you got a good pick? Wicked. All right, guys. We're going to let him go. <laughs> See you later, buddy. To live another day. Sweet. Hey, guys. We got a pike coming right at me, right in the background. There I am. Oh, I twitched it and he moved. Yeah, he did not like the movement at all. Let's see if I can get him to hit bottom. No. Let's see if I can scan for him. I don't know where my my go. Oh no, that's it, guys. I think he's gone. Well, guys, we're gonna call you a day today. I think. Ended up with four wallies, seen a bunch of pike, whatever. They're so skittish these days. It is something weird. It might be all the anglers, because it's getting pretty busy out here. 
good that everyone's getting out though. I'm not complaining at all. It's awesome that everyone's getting out. Um, but like I said, we didn't get skunked, so that's a good, good thing. Um, I think our next trip is gonna be south. But again, if you guys want us uh, to go anywhere, if you want to check it out, see if it's busy or not, we're always up for it. We don't mind. Um, but yeah, south next weekend, might do a sleepover, I think. Uh, we'll see how busy it is. Uh, besides that, yeah. I think we're going to call it a day. The wind's coming in. Go home, eat some beer. Oh, yeah. Some supper. So, uh, see you guys on the next trip. Fish on.